Let's talk about two things in this video. The first thing is, what do you do when you're having trouble feeling specific nerves inside the abdomen? The second thing is, let's talk about the location of the medial psoas. If you're having trouble feeling nerves in different ways, it's really helpful to move your fingers very slowly and very softly in different orientations, and even to use an opposite hand. So right here on Chris, I drew with the body marker that did not come out very well, the lumbosacral trunk, the obturator nerve, and then the nerve roots medial to psoas right before they go underneath the psoas. All of this tissue right here between my fingers is the psoas muscle, I'm popping it up. This is me pushing the psoas down, so it's popping up this way. This is me getting on the medial side, right underneath the umbilicus, and pulling the psoas up. Just medial to the psoas, if I just sink in really slow, I'm probably about three quarters of an inch, an inch deep. The lumbosacral trunk is right here. It starts at L4 and it goes down to L2. S2, excuse me, and then it goes backwards and comes out underneath the piriformis and becomes a sciatic nerve. So it's basically parallel to the psoas muscle here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your finger and you're gonna move it, wiggle it back and forth. So I'm getting on the medial side of the lumbosacral trunk and I'm just moving and wiggling to see when I can feel that nerve. I can also get on the lateral side of the nerve and push it down. If I'm not having a lot of success with that, I can also take my opposite hand and bring my finger in this way and see if I can feel the nerve a little bit better that way. It just gives me a different feel. We're using a different part of the tip and a different angle and orientation to feel it. So this is a really helpful way to feel the lumbosacral trunk. When I find a spot that doesn't bow, so if I take that nerve and I'm moving it, and it's moving a quarter of an inch, a half an inch, whatever, his moves pretty healthy. But let's say I find a spot that doesn't bow well. I go to push it, I go to push it, and it's just not moving, it's stuck. In this area of the body, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the spot that doesn't bow, I'm gonna take my other finger, and I'm gonna anchor it, right in my spot, because I already moved the tissue, the superficial tissue out of the way. Then I'm gonna take my other hand, and then I'm gonna set up my finger, my index or middle finger right next to that nerve. Now I'm in an area that I can begin treatment. I take my depth with my entire body. My elbow is out to the side. My vector is going at about a 30 degree angle from the superior backwards, basically towards his upper T-spine. I'm leaned over and I can treat. So once again, when I find the spot that doesn't bow with this, with this inferior hand, because this is gonna be my treatment hand, I take my other finger, I get right in that spot where the nerve's not bowing, and now I'm setting an anchor point. Now I can get lotion on my hand, do whatever, set my treatment finger right next to that nerve so I know I'm in the exact precise spot that does not bow. Then I take my depth, take my tension, and then I'm ready to do the treatment pass. So this is how we do better to locate the lumbosacral trunk medial to the psoas and how we can use the other hand and the other fingers as an anchor point while we're setting up the treatment hand so we know we're in the exact right spot. Try it out and let us know how it goes. Mm -hmm.